Never design signage for a zoo. Imagine. Someone always staring at you. As you go about your daily business. Whether you are having your food. Taking a bath in your bathroom or simply relaxing. It's a complete invasion of your privacy. Right. Animals in the sanctuaries are subjected to such scrutiny all the time. The conditions are even worse in a zoo. We, humans, are curious about how animals lead their lives. But do animals want our interference? What if this human interference could be kept to a minimum? Once a student came to me for a way-showing project for the zoo. I flatly refused. The idea of desang signage for zoo does not make sense to me. It is so human-centered. The student asked, By this logic, we can never do signage for the zoo. I said if you change the point of view, things will be different. Cage yourselves, not them. We are interested in seeing them. They are not. Imagine it as an underground pathway with openings at specific locations. These locations are the spots where animals are most likely to be seen, as they roam freely above the ground. Such an underground pathway may require digital signages to locate the presence of animals. Right now, I am not discussing the details of the implementation, but have an open mind to understand the approach. So now, what do you think? Should we design signage for the zoo? Yes? Only if we change our point of view to frame a problem. Because problem framing is the key to design thinking.